Hey guys, welcome to Boss TV. Hope you had a wicked Christmas and ate lots of delicious food. Now we're currently in that weird period between Christmas and New Year, but 2021 is just around the corner and it's gonna be a corker of a year. If you've got any New Year's resolutions, let us know in the comments below. And if those resolutions are to eat healthier, or to maybe shave off a few pounds, or to just get more nutrients into your body, then we have got you covered, because that's what this video is all about. Yeah, we've got five super duper healthy recipes that will help you kick off 2021 in the best possible way. Let's get into it. The first recipe we are gonna run you through is our mixed berry pancakes. These are delicious and they're packed with protein, as well as all the antioxidants in those wonderful, healthful blueberries. Plus we've got cinnamon in there, oh, we've got cinnamon. bananas in there, and of course you need a bit of sweetness, don't you? Yeah, you absolutely do, and that sweetness with maple syrup, perfect. And the best thing about pancakes is you can make them your own by yes. loading them up with wonderful toppings. And to bind these pancakes together, we're actually making a flaxseed egg. Oh, flaxseed. Which is quite a niche, uh, vegan-friendly way to make eggs, and that's gonna help to bind the oats and everything else, all of that wonderful protein together. Now, you'll definitely need a blender for this. Or would you need a blender for this? Or could you just do it with a bowl and a spoon? I think you need a blender because you're, we're blending our oats. That's exactly right. Yeah, unless you've got oat flour. Well, there we go. Now, listen, if you've got a blender, this is an absolute fantastic recipe to make, especially if you want a really special Saturday morning breakfast. And then some oat flour is gonna be combined with that chickpea flour or gram flour, and then we'll put some like either vanilla or unflavored protein powder into that blender along with everything else, all the rest of those pancake ingredients. And quite simply, blitz that up to make your pancake batter. Yeah, very pancakey colors all of those together, aren't yes, they? Yes, exactly, everything's kind of beige. Um, but it, trust us, it's gonna work. It's gonna make something quite thick and quite delicious. Yeah, that's a, a half cup of measure. And what we've got there is a really nice thick pancake. So you're not, it's not gonna be like a crepe, it's gonna be more like a fluffy American pancake. Exactly, my dad used to make buckwheat pancakes for me when uh, we were younger. When we were younger? When I was younger, <laughs> on, a, on a Saturday, uh, I would always come down to buckwheat pancakes, and these are reminiscent of those, but obviously just packed with protein. Look at the lovely colour on those. They obviously <laughs> are cooked just perfectly. I like that one at the top. That's the best one of the lot. <laughs> nice and golden. And the nice thing about this is you can top it to your heart's content. Fresh fruits are going to be the perfect thing. A nice bit of dairy-free yogurt goes great on there. But also, it, this is the kind of meal that feels decadent, but it's also really quite good for you. Yeah, I reckon if you were if you were going to make your missus a breakfast in bed, this is a really good thing because it yes. looks amazing. Especially if you're going to the gym. Yes. And you want that protein. You know, you can tell yourself this is high in protein, it must be healthy. Now that was really healthy and really delicious and really good for breakfast, but this one is a great one for lunch. This is our green shakshuka from our book, Healthy V. It's easy for you to say. No, yeah, shakshuka. Shakshuka. <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful thing. So what we've gone for is um, essentially a dish that's laden with green. Mm -hmm. Green means magnesium, it means health, essentially. It's a great, nutrients we're getting into your body on a daily, daily basis. So we're always trying to do that wherever we can. Now, using leek as a replacement for onion as a base for this dish is a really nice touch. I love leeks, they're amazing. And also, peas, loads of protein. Those butter beans, loads of protein in those too. Fantastic start to this dish. So you have to give us some creative license here with the name shakshuka. Um, this actually isn't very true to the authentic shakshuka. No. Um, it's more what we're going for here is just kind of a, a melange, a mix, a medley, um, a fried assortment of delicious things that's gonna taste really good, have some of those flavors, um, and lots and lots of health in it. Did you see how much spinach went in there? So much spinach. So much so spinach. Much. I mean, spinach is, I mean, it's, I was reading somewhere that apparently it's one of the healthiest foods in the world. Oh yes, absolutely. Parsley is really good for you too. Mint's really good for you too. You see, we're absolutely laden. This dish is absolutely laden with good things. Yeah, and obviously all those herbs and just means wonderful flavor. Right there is the sort of thing that you're gonna be eating it and you're gonna be like, it's filling, it's tasty. It's gonna make you feel amazing. So as with all of these videos, you can find the recipe on our website, Bosch.tv, um, and it's also in our cookbook. Healthy Bosch. Mm -hmm. Healthy Vegan. Healthy Vegan. Should remember the name of the book, shouldn't I? Yeah. I, do you know what? I really like that book and I think we should definitely do uh, Healthy Vegan too. Absolutely. Like a I'm all over that. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. I, like, it's times like this when watching back the videos that we've made in the past and it's just before lunch and we're wondering why on earth did we <laughs> do this before eating lunch? Because I'm absolutely starving right now and that would fill a hole. I mean, I could eat that right now. And that ripe avocado as well, what a nice touch with a drizzle of plant-based yogurt on top of it, which kind of reminds us of the egg in a shakshuka. So much wonderful greenery in there, so much protein, so much healthy fat, so much flavor. This is a fantastic dish that I strongly recommend that you give give a whirl. If you're going for 80% healthy, 20% naughty, which is what we like to advocate. This is definitely the 80% healthy. Oh my goodness. Now that one would make a really good lunch. This one would make a really good dinner. Why? Because it's meatballs. Oh. I absolutely love meatballs and this recipe is a great way to make essentially a healthy dish but something that tastes really really tasty too. I think that this dish um, is quite an interesting one because it, like meatballs are just so meaty. Yes. And we just thought, you know what, we're just going to veganize it anyway. So we've gone for a plant-based burger. You can choose uh, whichever one you like, really. What we're doing is we're combining that burger with some more meatball-y like ingredients. So we've got some beans in there. They're going to be high in protein. We've got some of that flour to help stick it together. And what that means is we can then turn that patty into a really solid, decent looking meatball. And another good thing about this one is the fact that we're baking those meatballs. Because if you fried them, yeah, you'd probably be fine and it'd be actually really quite tasty. But if you bake them, you just take away that layer of fat. Absolutely. And everyone loves potatoes, don't they? Yeah. I mean, what would this dish be without these potatoes? You can't have a meatball on its own. No, you definitely don't can't. Talk to me about eating a solitary meatball, Monsieur. Mashed potato and meatballs go marvellously well together. But we're pimping out our mashed potato here just with a little bit of salt, pepper, some spring onion. I mean, you could probably drizzle some vegan cream in there as well if you wanted to. But this is the healthiest option. And if you want a creamy mash, then add a touch of plant-based butter or some more vegan cream or hold on that if you want it healthier. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now you could go with peas, you could go with some wilted spinach, some kale, but we went with those lovely green beans and that delicious gravy, oh my God. <laughs> now you can find loads of gravy recipes on our website, boss.tv. So if you wanna go and find one of those, absolutely do. And guys, we hope you love the look of that dish. Do subscribe if you haven't already, because we make videos like this almost every single day. And we also make videos like this, which is a green goddess smoothie. Oh, yes. Isn't it green goodness? Oh, God, goddess goodness. <laughs> same thing. Yeah, same. Sorry. It, this is inspired by Rhonda Patrick. She's an absolute badass scientist from America who focuses on making people live longer. And this is her recipe for essentially the ultimate smoothie. Although we've adapted a bit, put some peanut butter in, made it taste a little bit better. But all the things going in here, you've got the tomato, you've got the apple, you've got that kale, you've got that spinach, you've even got some shard. All of that stuff is gonna do really, really good things for your body. And if you drink this on a daily basis, you'll be in a really good place. Yeah, you'll basically be a superhero. I think this is such a good idea. If you've got any sort of question about where you get your proper nutrients from on a vegan diet, just drink this every day and you will be well on your way. Also check out Dr. Rhonda Patrick, she's really cool. And the final dish, this one is super cool and it's from our most recent beautiful speedy cookbook, Speedy Bosch. Uh, it's a fully loaded spicy aubergine, also known as Imam Bialdi, which uh, it's inspired by Imam Bialdi at least, and that literally means the priest Fainted. The priest fainted. Well, I think the priest would probably faint if he saw how delicious this is. Because harissa on a nice, fleshy, well chopped aubergine is a really great way to get some flavour. Now, aubergines can be quite a difficult uh, vegetable to cook correctly, but we're going to show you in this recipe just how to do it perfectly. That hot grill with that lovely little crisscross cut and that perfect seasoning is going to give us just the right amount of cook. Now they're gonna be the comfortable bed for the wonderful filling to sleep on. And the wonderful <laughs> filling is this. That's obviously a vegan meat, which is now exceptionally good these days. And this is gonna be a really flavorful, well-spiced, dry, almost kind of crunchy meat topping, which is gonna do wonders for those aubergines. It's absolutely bursting with flavor. Oh. You're gonna get all of those dried spices in there and of course some salt and pepper. Taste it as you go. It's always good to be testing out flavors as you go. And that is your mince, which is gonna go on top of those wonderful aubergines. But as we said, that is quite dry. So you need something to wet it up, which is exactly what we're doing here. We're making a really simple, like lemon infused tahini sauce. Look at the, how really nice, the, the consistency of that sauce is just perfect. Perfect for drizzling. Yes. 
And <laughs> once more, you're gonna to wanna to taste this as you go. Always taste as you go. Get this sauce tasting absolutely perfect. And then that'll be ready to drizzle all over your lovely Imam Bialdi. So this hails from the Middle East, right? Yes, as I say, this isn't really uh, Imam Bialdi. It's an aubergine inspired <laughs> dish that's, you know, riffing on the idea. But yes, this is absolutely Middle Eastern in its flavor profile and the idea of using aubergines like this. And also, like, obviously we took the Middle Eastern sort of flavor profile, which is why we're adding the mint and the coriander. And just in the back there, we've got these fantastic pomegranate jewels. Oh my days, lovely thing, lovely, lovely. They're gonna be like little bursts of sunshine when you bite into them and a really nice contrast to those fresh herbs and those incredibly spicy soy mints as well. That is a fully loaded aubergine. It <laughs> looks delicious. It, I reckon if you had a couple of those, um, you, you'd be more than full. It would Absolutely. Be <laughs> now that was a wicked selection of super healthy, nutrient-filled, plant-based recipes. It's essentially the perfect example of what eating the rainbow looks like. If you are looking to kick off 2021 in the best possible way, in a healthy way, cook one of those dishes. It will definitely set you in good stead. Let us know what your thoughts down in the comments below. Which one did you like? And subscribe if you haven't already. Take care guys and happy 2021. Happy 2021. Let's hope it's better than 2020. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it can't be worse, can it? No, definitely not. Peace. Bye.